My subject today is principle of refraction. Light is that portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that is visible. When light hits a surface, one of these three things may occur. In this situation, light coming from outside is totally absorbed. So this surface is opaque and we cannot see anything outside. While in this situation, light hits a surface and is reflected back, so it acts like a mirror. And in this third situation, light finds its way through glasses, so we can see what's outside. So here, total absorption occurs. Here's a reflection occurs and here's refraction occurs. When light hits a surface with an angle, there will be a change of path. While if the light is perpendicular, it will continue on the same path. So in this case, we'll say there is a refraction, while on the other case, there is no refraction. The amount of refraction depends on the angle of incidence of ray and the difference in the refractive index between the two media. To understand this, as you notice here, light has a rapid speed in air, but while passing into glass, it will meet resistance and it will be slowly moving. When it comes back again to air, will restore the same original speed. If ray is coming perpendicular, there will be no bend, but when it comes with an angle, there will be change of path. The amount of change of path varies with the degree of incidence of rays. To understand this, notice this short video see the steps here and on this side of the soldiers. Those on this side will have short steps while those will have long steps. That's why they can change the direction. This is the same situation. When all the rays are coming perpendicular, all of them will be at short steps at the same moment. While when coming with an angle, those parts will be short steps and this part with really long steps. So in this case, we continue the same path, while in, when coming with an angle, there will be change of path. This is the case of light when passing from air into glasses, so it will meet resistance and will be change of path. When there is coming perpendicular, only there will be a retardation or slowing down, but there will be no change of path and there will be no refraction. While when coming with angle, this part will be will have some retardation while this is of a normal passage, so there will be a change and the reverse will occur here when coming out of the plate of glass. What is the refractive index? We say that the refractive index of air is the unit, it's one. One type of glass has a refractive index of 1.4. It means it gets a resistance to the passage of light 1.4 higher compared to that the passage of light in the air. Another type of glass get a refractive index of 1.5. So when the same rays are passing into glass 1.4 or 1.5, the amount of bend will, differ, will be different because the resistance is different. So refraction depends on two factors, the angle of incidence of rays and the difference in refraction between the two media. When rays coming from rarer to denser media is going to refract toward the norm, this is the angle of incidence, this is the angle of refraction. On the other hand, rays coming from denser to rarer media, the, the rays will be refracted away from the norm. 
So keep in mind that rays, when passing from rare to dense media, bending is toward the north, and the reverse is true when the rays coming from denser to rarer media. The refractive index equals the sine of angle of incidence divided by the sine of angle of refraction. In this slide, the refractive index of the first media is called N1, and that of the second media is called N2. The angle of incidence is theta1, angle of refraction is theta2. In Snellen's law, it says that N1 multiplied by sine theta1 equals N2 multiplied by sine theta2.